Hey, what's up guys? Deblixer again, and welcome back to the Foundry. Today we are going to, uh, well, have ourselves that custom battle I was promising you guys with the Germans invading Britain. That is right. I didn't make it very clear in the previous video, but if you guys googled Operation Sea Lion, uh, you would tell exactly what it's about. We are here in Dover, in southern England, or around Dover. Um, you can tell there's a big white cliff here on the side that's kind of um, panning down to become the, the beach zone here. I, I've looked at some pictures online, uh, Cliffs of Dover, uh, Southern English Beach, or British, if you guys get offended for me not saying, uh, naming the country as a whole, as it is called, but the territory is indeed England. You couldn't, uh, couldn't blame me for saying I've been to England when I've visited London, because it is indeed in England, but some seem to have issues. Hey, that's Britain. Oh, hey. Well, if I come to Glasgow, I'll say I've been to Scotland. If I come to, well, Bristol, I'll say I've been to Wales, and... <laughs> I meant Cardiff. I'm sorry. To know the noun. That's how I am. I like to kind of divide it so it's a little more specific. But that aside, guys, we have the Brits here, the Home Guard. Probably not the Home Guard. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the TA. I guess the TA is kind of what the Home Guard was. No, but not entirely. But as you know, Britain, as a very big empire at the time, had lots of its powers and or in, in military strength in Africa and India and in the Pacific. And that's why there was a kind of a kind of a scare at home for the the German invasion, of course. Uh, but the British are gonna re uh, re receive these Germans with a cold, hard steel, in form and shapes of bullets. I guess that's lead. Uh, but they're set up and they're ready to defend, as you can tell by the thumbnail here. They're they're kind of uh, kind of seen this attack coming and they've set up a Vickers team up here on the, the hill to kind of get an edge on them. No tanks will be used in this battle guys. I would love to see tanks roll up the beach but it's a little hard to put them on a, on a landing craft. Uh, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this battle. Uh, thank you so much for like over 1000 likes on the previous video. I'm going to give this guy to you or bleh, give this map to you and I think, I honestly think that if I get a thousand likes on this video as well, I'll release this this like game pack, like this custom battle, I'll release it with it because it takes like at least as much time as it does creating the map of like scripting and getting everything in position. Pro probably not, but it takes it takes a long time, so it, that would really be uh, be worth my time um, if you guys did that. So um, I'll release that with the map pack if we reach that. Um, so yeah. Look forward to a map pack trailer coming out soon, an announcement where I'll be uh, sending you guys the link to this map. And I also decided to create a trench here at the back, where the Brits have kind of dug in with some troops and machine guns. More troops will reinforce these guys from back here. They'll be arriving in in cars, and there's going to be a lot of things happening. I think for this map, I'm not going to do a lot of controlling. I think I'm just going to click start and let these guys fight, fight it out themselves, have the Germans advance on the beach themselves. Uh, and if they get stuck or just not want to move anywhere, I'll, I'll uh, push them forward. I've given them an or option to not retreat. They only have advance enabled, which means they'll only um, push forward. These soldiers down here are uh, troops from the SS. And they look absolutely magnificent. Some of these guys have regular combat fatigues. I, I don't know why, but uh, anyway. Or uniforms or whatever you want to call it. Tunics. Um... I don't think I have anything else to say. It's rainy. It's kind of like the D-Day feeling, Omaha Beach, you know, at the start of Saving Pride Ryan. You just hear the waves hit the shore, the beach, and you see these hedgehogs. Yeah, these uh, Czechoslovakian tank obstacles. Um, anyway, I think we're ready to go. Look forward to be playing on this map and look forward to this very scenario that just allows you to go into the editor and click start and everything will happen exactly as it is on my screen right now, if we reach a thousand likes. So thank you guys for, for that little uh, little support there. It really helps me out. And I've been talking for uh, way too long now. We're about to hit that five minute mark, which means time to spill some blood. I'm going to go ahead and click start. And we're going to go ahead and witness what is the uh, uh, Operation Sea Lion um, German invasion of Britain. And the Brits have prepared. Someone said that these obstacles are faced the wrong way. They're not. They're meant to face. They're meant, meant to point at the beach. See the the these, you know, landing crafts. These these Higgins boats could could hit it and just capsize. Although when these guys hit them, they break. So they're not coded the same way. Maybe not. This guy stopped. I heard something break back there. Oh, he's gonna get a little push. Ball bats. Ball skits. Here they come, lads. Open up! Oh, 
This little uh, machine gun trench here is working awesome. It's like a kind of like a dugout bunker. It's working great. I love it. Look at the view, man. The Germans coming up the beach. Vickers spinning mortars. Mortars. Come out and never. Come on, guys. Sons of the Reich. Push forward. Get up on that beach. You guys have flamethrowers and machine guns supporting you guys. Oh, there's a mortar shell. Almost took up the, the camera here. <laughs> that would be cool. Just crack the screen. Ball bats. The boats are returning back here. Oh, I got out the back hole. Pushing up on the left flank here. We got a little Rambo over here, man. Rambo with the machine gun. He is ready to give, man. This guy is ready to open up. Look at this, man. Some call him a hero, some call him a monster. We are still moving up. So I don't think I need to control the Germans too much. I think they're doing a lot of the work on themselves. We're going to have a quick casualty look here mid into the battle. Yeah, there's a lot of dead Germans. I mean, there's probably a close to 100 here. No, but probably at least 50. Um, and they're all mostly dead in the water. Some are starting to hit the beach now, and there's just mortars and machine gun fire. I'm going to take quick control now of the Germans, and as you can tell, there's a lot of them remaining, and just have them kind of move up, not make any major strategical decisions here, but just try and get them sort of like closer to the enemy where they can effectively kill them, as they would, because right now they've kind of gotten stuck on sort of, you know, flexing here in front of the Brits. Uh, we're going to see if I can get some sweet um, suppression, suppressing fire on that nest, and... Meanwhile, he's putting suppressing fire on the nest. I'm going to see if I can find myself a flamethrower so it would be very handy to have in these uh, times. We have one right here. He's a very valuable trait. I'm going to try and get him up un unscathed. Oh, he's taking fire. Flammenwerfer, vorwärts! Flame the bunker and see if we can uh, roast the Brits inside. We're gonna fire at this bunker as well. Literally fire at it. See if we can burn them inside. Uh, ah, that's it. Just wanted to kind of do that. Looks really cool. And that's exactly why I did deploy these flamethrowers. They're not very they're not very actionsome on their own. They don't really uh, issue any direct incentives on, on sort of, you know, using their weaponry. But if you if you tell them to, they will. Right, this boat, you are fine. You're going to return to the rest here. While I'm back here with the rest, I'm just going to go ahead and delete these for visual sake. They're not really going to be using those 50 cals on the boats. I wanted to try and sort of not make it too easy for them. So the Germans are moving up the beach now, but the, the Brits still have mortar positions further back here. We've got a few MG nests they need to clear out before trying to fully advance. They're taking fire here. Want that fire? This Vickers is not really able to... Oh, okay, he's targeting these guys. And look at the bullets just hitting the dirt here. Look at this in slow motion. Okay, I think he's just about to reload as I hit slow motion. No, oh, there we go. Maybe it's so slow that we're not having... Even catching. Is he firing? Oh, he's reloading now, for sure. I'd want to see that in slow motion, but I think there are other machine guns that we can have a closer look at later. Um, right, let's do the same thing. Oh, there we go. Perfect time to just catch these bullets hitting the dirt and just, you know, smacking into the wooden stakes. That guy's got his helmet blown off. He does not like that and he's dead, but there's not much to like anymore. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. This this uh, Vickers gunner now is kind of seared in on the Germans and he's able to get some pretty precise shots in there. So it's time to move out of the way. Looks absolutely beautiful. See the entire team here. These guys are using the shielded version as well. Just to prevent themselves from, from getting too easily killed by the German troops attacking here. Someone also pointed out that the defenses were much, much stronger. Uh, which I do not doubt. But I've seen many beaches that just had like simple barbed wire and, and uh, trenches. So um, I think we're being fair. And we don't want to make it too hard to attack. We don't want to make it like a fucking Atlantic fortress. Not going to be much of any gameplay then. And here we have the back trench I designed. These guys are equipped with two machine guns. Vickers and a 30 cal. American one. I think it's time for me to 
pick the British side here. I did promise I was going to play as the uh, the as no one really and let the air play it out. And I think I've controlled the Germans a bit more than I planned. So it's only fair if I tell these Brits to get into cover and save their own skin for a while, please. Thank you. Get some of the lads into cover back here. It is indeed. You shot his bloody head off. Guys, sit tight. Start running around. In your trenches. We cannot retreat, gentlemen. This is our last line of defense. Literally is. If the Germans break through this wall, then we're going straight to London. In a fictional universe, of course, guys. This operation did not occur. Um, it was planned to, but the RAF won the sky battle. Or the, the, uh, the battle over England, as they call it. And, uh, which, you know... Without air support, I mean, your, your entire invading fleet is going to kind of get killed and caught off. So, good on you, chaps from the RAF. Now, I believe that was the case and the reason why Hitler didn't decide to be, uh, initiate this plan. Maybe he abandoned it because of, you know, fucking, you know, efforts to take on Russia and whatnot. But uh, it was around the same time. Um, priorities, right? All right, we need to try and take this. So I'm going to have these guys advancing up on the beach. We don't have a ridiculous amount of German troops remaining. We've probably lost our half our force attacking this beach, which is quite a hefty sum. We did attack in hundreds, might I add. Uh, I am going to capture this mortar and see if I can put it to use. It would be interesting to shell the... Oh, what's he shooting at? He's probably shooting at some left-behind Brit. Trying to scour for his life. Well, he's firing something. I'm, I'm not sure if there's a, still a gentleman back in the bunker, but... I'm afraid he's going to hit my own troops. There is. There is indeed an officer in here. We're here to arrest him. Oh, he's shooting back with his web leg. He's like, you're not getting me alive. Handgarten! Okay, you're going to throw it? Are you going to throw it? Or are you going to let yourself get killed? Yeah, we threw it in there. And I believe he ran out. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> we got him. Yeah, there he is. Nope. Wait, he's still alive! He's a menace. He didn't even die. He's got he's got eye vision problems though. He's, he, he needs to scope us in there to, to see us properly. Uh, somehow he survived that. Let me just let me just go come a cows on your ass in there. Oh, that didn't kill me there. Well, he, what the? right, he died. He stood up. That was his fault. <laughs> right, guys. You never know what happens in men of war. Because what happens in men of war stays in men of war. We're not gonna we're not gonna talk of these uh, talk of these rantic. Frantic, frantic killings anywhere else. Anyway, gonna set up my machine gun right over here. See if our MG is worth responding. Uh, oh, we've fucked up the entire trench. It has been completely destroyed and it has literally lowered itself to a sub-level, sub-level level. So it's, it's, it's off the map. I'm not sure that's supposed to happen, but it did. <laughs> Enough questions. All right, more of you Germans get up the beach. While I can, I'm going to go ahead and delete some of these runaway things. And I'm not sure why there's a flamer back here, but I don't think he's supposed to be back there. All right, guys, get up the beach. We need to kind of pull a little SS move here and, and rush down. We don't have much of a choice. But we're going to die standing where we are. I'd rather die 10 miles into to England without them on the beach. Oh, there's still a guy in there. Fucking hell, it's like Iwo Jima, clearing out the mortar holes. Or... Oh shit, there's a guy back there even. That grenade landed on top, uh, Wilhelm, I'm not sure. That's, yeah, that's going to be fairly dangerous to yourself. That guy died from probably the shrapnel. Still have an MG team in there. I'm going to see if we can lob a grenade inside. That seemed to be not too efficient or effective. We haven't find contact. Let's see if I can do a little... Oh, looks like some of the German Air Force returned. Did you hear that airplane? I sure as hell heard that airplane. There were three. Oh, yeah, we got one that's cr two of them that's crashed here. That's very unfortunate. That happens. Um, did you guys see them flying over the 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 troops in the beginning of the video? I'm not sure if I showed you it, but it's kind of a cinematic flyover at the start. All right, Brits, come on! It's your finest hour now. You're all in the trench, ready to fight. I think I'm gonna give you guys a little uh, control time here now. Gotta make sure the remaining section charges down. There's quite a few SS members remaining here. Oh, we're using our flamethrowers here at a very efficient pace. 
Oh my god, there's no escaping them. Now they're absolutely perilous. And I believe that was the last man down. The last, the very last man was the commanding officer who was burnt and shot to death, running out of the trench in panic. Uh, well, no, wait, we have two, two lads hiding back here. Their sand cover has kind of collapsed into nothing. But two Bren guns are certainly useful. Yeah. Ralph Palmer. Don't want to live forever, do you? Alright, stay right there and I'll arrange a little a German visit. Gonna go down in style, huh? Fuck you, you wankers! Oh, you know, ugh. That's your fault for hip-firing, man. I would never hip-fire that thing, but if you wish you want to stand there and hip-fire it, shoot the box instead, that's up to you. I'm not sure if that everyone does that. Let me see here. MG guy, where are you? Do we have you somewhere? MG guy. Okay, this guy is going nuts. Yeah, yeah, we've already done that. All right, Mr. MG guy. Yeah, they resort to hip-firing instead. I guess it's a heavy weapon, you know, squad machine gun. Hey! Wait, are they still in the car? Do we have any guys remaining here? No. They're all dead. And the German invasion of Britain was successful in a parallel universe. In a parallel universe. But there's not a lot of Germans remaining. I can tell you I deployed hundreds. The Brits, not so many. Because obviously I want to give the attacking side um, numbers. They usually try and try and plan that out. At least so I wasn't during D-Day. Um, then again, the, the Germans were a little misplaced. Um, I, th I think there was like one division, 352nd on Omaha Beach that received at least two, I think. 29th and 1st. Along with a few ranger battalions and whatnot. But anyway, um, there's not a lot remaining. And as you can tell here, the, the, the big fall was obviously up here. But for every dead Brit, there's at least two or three Germans, as you can tell. So this is obviously a costly attack. I mean, there's just Literally, e Easter going on here on the battlefield. There's just yellow dudes everywhere, and those means, uh, they mean Germans. We can color them red if you want to as well, and you can just tell how many they are. It's it's insane. So, a really costly victory here, and I and I kind of kind of wanted to change history a bit and see the Germans take this. Really fun. Uh, we're not going to do much else with this. At the Oh, there is one man alive, though. There is one man alive, though. All right. We'll call it a strategic German victory, but we'll see if they can end it as thought. Um, this guy cannot move it because he's alone. It's simply too heavy. Can he fire? We'll find out. The Germans are on their way to find out too. And he is firing. And he's going to go down, literally burning off a whole magazine once it's reloaded again. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's too close. Well, they got one, and that was me saying close, by the way. It just literally quenched my butt cheeks trying to, trying to wait for that to happen. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this battle. Next up, we're going to do Red Rising battle on this map. Uh, if you guys want to play this scenario too and maybe get a different outcome and, and you know, whatever, post it on YouTube, uh, don't alter anything. Uh, but do whatever you want, guys, uh, with this thing. I kind of try and fix this, though. It's a little odd when the mortar does this, but... Um, not sure if it has anything to do with my trench placements. I'll, I'll check that out later on. It's not really an emergency. But um, I hope you guys like this beach map. Uh, thank you guys for the like and support. If you guys hit 1,000 likes, I'll obviously be posting this thing together with a map pack. Um, see you guys then. And thank you guys for watching once again. All right. My name is Bindabikes. See you guys in the next video. Until then, you guys enjoy. Bye.